growing up, you were my favorite preacher dad. Is it hard to evolve from that role? Well, anytime something lasts 11 years, it does tend to kind of label you. And it's funny because before, right before Seventh Heaven started, I was I played a sort of string of bad guy characters, things like First Wives Club and uh, a bunch of miniseries, uh, the Betty Broderick story, where I kind of, you know, if you're a middle-aged white guy and you're not starring in a show like Seventh Heaven, you're probably going to play the philandering husband or the, you know, the corrupt senator. And so it was, I thought, I'm never going to get to play a good guy again. And then along comes Seventh Heaven, and now it's like, hmm, I wonder if I'll ever get to play a bad guy again. Um, but it's okay. It was a, it was a wonderful run. And uh, it, the strange thing about this business is that if you're successful in something, you almost have to prove your way out of that. So we, we never, for better or for worse, we, we never stop proving, have, having to stop we never stop having to prove ourselves. There's the sentence I was looking for. I just saw you on an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and you were so funny. Are you going to be doing any more of those roles? I hope so. The, I, the guys emailed me last year and said they might. I was supposed to. I did two episodes and was supposed to do another. I was on Broadway doing Spam a lot at the time, and I couldn't. So they had to write me out of that episode, and I haven't been back for a couple of years. But I hope uh, that's that may be the most fun I ever had. Uh, it looks like you guys improv a lot of it, because... Well, yeah, we, right when I rehearsed my first scene in, in Sunny, um, we finished the rehearsal and Charlie Day came up to me and he said, we basically have two policies on this show, either do it as written or just do whatever you want. He said, do whatever you want. <laughs> and because they always have a couple of cameras rolling at once, so they get, they get the coverage at the same time. So they're never asking you to, oh, make sure you do that funny reaction you did when Rob broke you up or whatever. You don't have to do that because they got it. They got they had two cameras running, and it was so much fun. And they just they just kept encouraging me to go farther and farther and farther. And of course, it's not that hard to pull my twist my arm. But I think you have a long career in comedy. So, in honor of the Oscars tonight, who do you think is going to win Best Picture? Well, I'm an Oscar voter, so I have to differentiate. Even though this might be what I voted for. I'll tell you who I think will win as opposed to who I voted for. And they might be the same, but I'm not going to say if they're the same. I think Argo will win. What about Best Actor? Who do you think? Best Actor? It's hard to imagine that Daniel Day-Lewis won't win. And you know, I, I feel badly for any actor who's up against him any year he's up for an Oscar because Daniel Day-Lewis Day Day just, I, I, he takes acting to a realm that only a tiny handful of actors have ever touched. And uh, he's just astonishing, you know. So I, I would be very surprised if he doesn't win. Thank you so much. You enjoy your night. It was nice meeting you.